dawn of civilization as we know it today arose here in ancient Egypt. We have only to look upon these wonders of construction to realize how well and how efficiently they were planned and built. All this came about by no mere accident, for at every step of the way, those builders of the past paused in their labor to take stock and to plan their future progress. As long as we keep going forward, we're going to have to ask ourselves, where do we stand today and how shall we proceed in the future? No matter what our field of activity, be it government, commerce, science, or industry, basic questions such as these have to be asked and answered so that we may know where we stand and how we are to advance our every effort is recorded in constantly growing files but as we progress we accumulate more data more records more reports than we can easily handle even through the use of present-day office equipment it becomes increasingly difficult to process this accumulation to obtain the information we need to meet this need for high-speed data processing the scientists and technicians of the Eckert Mockley division of Remington Rand have created a miracle of electronic development. UNIVAC, a complete electronic system for sorting, classifying, computing, and decision making, acting upon alphabetical as well as numerical data at incredible speeds and with complete accuracy. Right now, UNIVAC is handling automatically and economically unbelievable volumes of statistical work for the United States Bureau of the Census. Work that formerly took weeks and months to do is now being done in a matter of hours by UNIVAC. The recording of population shifts, income trends, occupational changes, and all the other important facts that let us know how our country stands. Keeping abreast of these latest scientific developments, leaders in business have been quick to grasp the efficiency of UNIVAC for handling the large data processing operations that consume more and more precious time within their organizations. For example, the high-speed printer, an important component of the UNIVAC system, greatly facilitates the automatic processing of enormous payrolls in a fraction of the time needed by even the largest and most efficient systems prior to this development. And when the system has completed the payroll, this same high-speed printer is free to print labor distribution and other cost and statistical reports, market analyses, or to handle problems of production control. For example, insurance companies use the UNIVAC system to prepare premium notices, dividend statements, commission statements, valuations, plus many other statistical reports. All these things UNIVAC does automatically and with complete accuracy. From the time information contained on these magnetic tapes is transferred to the central computer to the time it is printed out in final form, the operation is fully automatic. And by means of its unique internal checking system, all information being fed into and out of the system, as well as the computation itself, is automatically checked and verified a process which makes UNIVAC practically immune to error. In fact, UNIVAC was the first computer built to incorporate these self-checking features. But now, let's look at some of the various components which go to make up the UNIVAC system and find out how they operate. This is the brain of the system, the central computer. This is where all the actual mathematical operations are performed in literally millionths of seconds. It is here we find UNIVAC's fabulous memory. Tanks of mercury in which data are kept in dynamic storage in the form of circulating pulses available for use by the computer. Information is stored on UNIVAC's magnetic tapes, one of which is shown here being mounted on a uniservo. These tapes are used to carry information into and out of the central computer at the tremendous peak speed of over 12,000 digits per second. Since this speed is far greater than could ever be achieved manually, the tapes are prepared ahead of time on independent devices, one of which is called the unitiper. 
Here we see the transferring of data to the magnetic tapes. This may be done by one unitypist or several, depending on the size of the operation. The unityper has a special keyboard, a regular typewriter keyboard, plus a special numeric keyboard for high-speed typing of numerals, and a bank of special keys for operating a control device, which facilitates transcription by the typist. The keyboard, as we see here, is attached to a unit that turns each keystroke into electrical impulses. These impulses form patterns of magnetic dots on Univac's metallic tape. If we could see them, they would look much like this. When the tape is read on the Uniservos, these selectively magnetized areas represent either the character 1 or the character 0, depending upon their position. The result looks like some sort of code, and it is, a modified binary code. Binary because it consists of just two characters, 0 and 1. Arranged in sixth place order, Combinations of zero and one can represent any alphabetical, numeric, or punctuation symbol, a seventh place being added for check purposes. In this case, our code stands for the letters R, A, N, D. If the information has previously been recorded in punched cards, the cards are placed in the feed unit of the card to tape converter, which is used in place of the manual unityper. Data on punched cards are quickly transferred to magnetic tape by this card to magnetic tape converter. The converter operates automatically, processing over 200 cards a minute. Accuracy is assured by the self-checking circuits within the unit, one of which, for example, reads each card twice, comparing the second reading of the card with the recording on the magnetic tape and rejecting cards when an inconsistency develops. After the cards have been converted, they need not be kept on file, for the information is permanently stored on magnetic tape. The recorded data on the magnetic tape is now ready for processing by UNIVAC. Now that we have our data recorded on tape, and since UNIVAC is an all-purpose computer, we can use this information to get the results we want. The only requirement now is that we tell our computer what to do, down to the smallest detail. This is the job of an individual called a programmer. One of the most highly skilled members of the UNIVAC operating team, he sets up the instructions which tell the computer what computations or operations to make. Knowing what end results are wanted, he takes the problem and breaks it down into its basic operations. First, he prepares a flowchart using a special template which has cutouts representing all the necessary arithmetic and logical symbols. He puts down every action, every arithmetic step, leading to the solution. When it is finished, the flowchart illustrates the whole problem in the form of symbols. The next step is to translate the meaning of these symbols into specially coded instructions for UNIVAC. The programmer writes the instructions on code sheets. These instructions tell the computer when and what to add, subtract, multiply and divide, when to compare certain data with other data, and where to find them, when to compare for equality or inequality, and so on. We've illustrated a very simple example of the kind of instructions which the programmer prepares when he analyzes a problem. Instructions so complete that they keep UNIVAC working automatically through to the solution, regardless of the eventualities which arise. Once they have been prepared, the instruction sheets are then forwarded to the unitypist, who then records the instructions on tape. This same instruction tape may be used over and over again with different data. The prepared instruction tape is then taken from the unitypist and mounted on a uniservo. Now let's see the nerve center of the univac system, the supervisory control unit. It is available to give the operator a continuous picture of UNIVAC's internal operation at any point in the solution of a problem. It allows him to check for inconsistencies found by the system. If there are any, it tells him where they originate. When minor corrections are needed, that is, additions to the data or alternate procedures to be followed, the supervisory control 
offers a direct means of manual communication with the central computer. That is all that is necessary, since UNIVAC, from this point on, is completely automatic in operation. Connected by cable to the supervisory control is a printing unit. It serves as an additional means for checking, by recording data from any part of the central computer in printed form. Unit printers, similar to this one, and operating independently at any distance from the central computer, print the final results of UNIVAC's computations. However, whenever there are large quantities of data involved, the high-speed printer is used. In the space of one second, the high-speed printer can deliver approximately seven lines of printed information from the impulses it receives from the magnetic tapes. This would permit printing the equivalent of three pages of a metropolitan telephone directory containing approximately 1,200 names, addresses, and telephone numbers in less than one minute. Some problems require the results of UNIVAC processing to be produced in punched card form. Transferring information from magnetic tapes to punched cards can be done automatically at 75 to 120 cards a minute by the magnetic tape to card converter. Verification circuits ensure accuracy by enabling the converter to read back and compare the information punched in the cards with the original data from the magnetic tape. Cards having inconsistencies are rejected automatically. UNIVAC lends itself not only to purely mathematical and scientific problems, but it is even more useful in the strictly commercial applications of modern day business. Let's take the matter of payrolls, for example. Every business, large or small, has to cope with this problem. As taxes, deductions, and other factors complicate payrolls more each year, the amount of clerical work necessary to execute them reaches staggering proportions, particularly when the employees number in the hundreds or thousands. This is where UNIVAC comes in. Prior to the actual installation, a team of programmers assists in making a complete analysis of the factory's pay system, breaking it down into piecework, hourly pay rate, salaries and commissions, and other classifications. They provide for overtime rates, tax deductions with all the many variations, social security deductions, insurance deductions, union dues, and everything else that affects an individual pay record. Once the necessary tapes have been recorded and placed on Uniservos, the payroll operations become automatic, simply a matter of processing data through UNIVAC. In less than four hours per week, and with only a small operating staff, UNIVAC can complete the computation for this payroll of 15,000 employees. A saving in time and money that is tremendous. Here's how it works. As the individual reports come in, the unitypist transcribes them to tape. These tapes are then placed on the Uniservo and acted upon to get the base earnings record of each employee for that pay period. Another tape is made up to record any changes in the individual employee's rate of pay. A change in hourly rate, a change in dependency, a special deduction, and so on. When this change tape and the base earnings tapes are completed, the payroll is ready to be started. First, the information from the base earnings tapes are read into the computer and sorted in proper sequence. Then the change tape is run against the master employee tape and changes are recorded. Finally, the sorted base earnings tape is matched against the revised master employee tape. Running this off gives us the final net earnings for each of the 15,000 employees, with all deductions taken out, overtime added, and adjustments and rates calculated. And all this is done in less than four hours. On this final run, a whole series of tapes is prepared simultaneously, and when fed into the high-speed printer, these tapes produce the payroll checks themselves, a great labor-conserving benefit. A complete payroll register for management study and records. A weekly earnings record. And a new, up-to-date master employee record, ready for use in compiling the next payroll. The story of this payroll operation is truly the story of a mountain of work 
being reduced to a molehill by UNIVAC. But more than that, UNIVAC still has nearly 90% of its working week free to perform many other valuable computing assignments, such as cost records, inventories, accounts receivable and payable, production control, market analysis and trends, research, in fact, any task where data have to be processed or problems solved. Through the use of UNIVAC, tomorrow's office production will attain the high levels of speed and efficiency which mark industrial production facilities today. The men and women of Remington Rand's eckert Mockley Division in Philadelphia are proud of the job they did in creating UNIVAC. From these production lines are coming the electronic data processing systems which are beginning to play such an important role in our daily lives. Powerful servants designed to further mankind's future progress in all fields of endeavor. This is UNIVAC, tomorrow's miracle of electronics here today. In government, industry, science, and in the defense of our nation. <laughs>